Satellites play vital roles in everyday life. From weather observations to navigation to communications, Earth orbiting spacecraft now are so prevalent they could easily be taken for granted. Since April 2011, engineers at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida have partnered with the Satellite Servicing Capabilities Office at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland to develop robotic satellite servicing technologies necessary to bring in-orbit inspection, repair, refueling, component replacement, and assembly capabilities to extend the life of these important spacecraft. The orbital path of 22,000 miles above Earth is home to more than 400 satellites serving customers worldwide, but occasionally these spacecraft fail or simply run out of maneuvering propellant. A team at Kennedy collaborating with counterparts at Goddard recently demonstrated groundbreaking technology that could add years of service to these satellites. So as Kennedy has uh, matured its uh, expertise in, in servicing spacecraft and launch vehicles, We've worked with a number of centers in servicing their particular uh, assets and spacecraft. Engineers at Goddard want to take advantage of Kennedy's experience in launch vehicle and satellite processing, as well as propellant loading. This expertise is being applied to help design refueling components of a robotic servicing spacecraft. Goddard came to the KSC the, near the end of the shuttle program um, so they could leverage all of our expertise in hypergolics. Kennedy's know-how gained from processing and launching spacecraft developed at other NASA centers now is allowing its employees to branch out and become a part of the process of designing a satellite. Primarily been servicing spacecraft and vehicles using our ground systems and doing some spacecraft repair. In this particular aspect, we're actually designing flight hardware. Over the past few years, the team at Kennedy has been developing and testing the critical hypergolic propellant transfer system for a servicing satellite. We are actually starting a unique role, which is designing, developing, and testing of actual uh, satellite hardware that will be used in future uh, refueling of satellites. The most recent run-through took place in the Florida Spaceport's Payload Hazardous Servicing Facility, or PHSF, and focused on moving from a proof-of-concept phase to building the first engineering development unit. During February 2014, a flight-like prototype demonstrated that a robotically operated satellite could remotely refuel another orbiting spacecraft not originally designed to be refueled. Well, it's an extremely unique test and it's never been done, as far as we know, anywhere in the world. We're testing with a hypergolic oxidizer, nitrogen tetroxide, um, an end-to-end -end system that does the servicing of a satellite in orbit. The demonstration was called ROXI, for Remote Robotic Oxidizer Transfer Test. A Goddard-built robotic arm was shipped to Kennedy for the operation. It has the capability to connect to a simulated satellite servicing panel including its propellant fill and drain valves. For the operation, the Kennedy team developed the Propellant Transfer Assembly, also called the PTA. From 800 miles away in Maryland, Goddard engineers remotely control the robotic arm's connection to the Kennedy-provided propellant transfer system and hose delivery assembly, hooking it up to the simulated client satellite's fill and drain valve, all located in Kennedy's PHSF in Florida. This project has not only been a challenge, but it's been a lot of fun for the entire team. And I have to say, I've never had to ask for a volunteer for this project. KSC has largely focused on ground processing and ground assets, and we've, we've earned our expertise in that area. For our team, it's, uh, it's expanding their capabilities. It's making them uh, better engineers and better scientists. 